Hi, my name is Henry Castro. I have experience resolving bug related to import conditional format data bar examples from Excel document. Overview. First, I will talk about the main data structure relationship of conditional format, the LibreOffice core process. Then I will analyze the data structure relationship to import data bar conditional. And finally, the issues I have found for future improvements. This is the main dialog interface to insert data bar conditional format. It can be invoked when it's clicked in the format menu and the follow the conditional. As you can see in the in the dialog, there are the basic properties uh, to it. Here is the main data structure relation relationship in the LibreOffice core. You can see the the class conditional format is a list of entries of with each entry this is the base class and all the subclasses you can check about one the color the date and conditional entry but in this particular uh, subclasses we will be see the generalization of this or else specialization the color square format you can create instances of one of these but this is the main uh, focus for now because uh, uh, I'm going to explain how I fix some, some of the bugs here and the data bar format you can see it has, has some specific properties and if we create an instance of, the, uh, of this data structure in memory and insert to this list uh, LibreOffice code will process the conditional Okay, let's uh, concentrate on the data bar format class. As you can see in this uh, relationship, there is a, a struct called data bar format data. Um, there is a relationship of composition here. I don't know why it separated this. This could be could be included here, but anyway, there is an actual relationship here in the memory of LibreOffice core process. Then you can also here the basic properties of the data bar format and focus on this one, the positive color that I added because it was missing. And we will focus this uh, this attention here, but later we will show you some issues I have found and very, very confusing when I was reading the code and trying to understand this uh, uh, data relationships and try to fix or patch some of the code. Okay, let's let's try to import this uh, example portion of uh, XML file. And you can observe here that the field color property is the one that want to extract it or read it uh, after the parsing process. This data show should be saved in our memory here in positive color within our data structure data bar format and once we get that information in memory from our we will uh, successfully import finally we will analyze this class as you can see in the relationship this uh, class has two composition of classes and uh, when it's a raw model and the format data uh, you can see that uh, the attributes from these two classes is very similar and that they are duplicate data this is one of the first issues I have found and of course this is uh, when I was reading the code uh, the, during the parsing it is uh, read it and write it here that bubble before and after calling the finalize import, this is copy that data from here. Obviously, this is a duplication of code. And in some way, if you are going to read this code and in the future improvements, you can remove this class 
the, it, it is not necessary and it's very confusing at the beginning uh, trying to read this code and of course uh, the unique pointer here with this data structure is all confusing here uh, anyway that uh, will possibly improve in, this in the future well, I hope that's it for me thank you very much